Welcome to BSc Statistics students. In this class, uh, I explain the procedure of processing of two jobs through K missions, graphical method. This is one of the uh, very important uh, topic. So, for which uh, you have to consider there are let us consider there are two jobs one and two, and each job is to be processed on K missions M one, M two, and so on, and K. Uh, in two different uh, orders okay and uh, the following assumptions are needed uh, to perform this procedure that is that is to uh, apply this particular procedure uh, these are the assumptions are needed so first one consider the technical ordering of each of two jobs processing k missions is known in advance that is you have to assume that uh, uh, the ordering of each two, each of the two jobs through the K missions is known in advance. Uh, prior to that, uh, we we know the order, right? The second one, such ordering may not be same for both the jobs. The the ordering is not uh, need not be same for uh, both the jobs. The third one, the exact or expected processing times on all the given missions are known. It is also known what the processing times, expected or exact processing times are known. Uh, each mission and fourth one, each mission can perform only one job at a time. These are the four assumptions which are required uh, uh, to uh, solve the problem by using the graphical method, right? And uh, now if you come to the, uh, uh, the procedure, algorithm, algorithm of uh, 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 draw, that is uh, obtaining the optimum sequence and uh, finding the ideal times of the uh, two jobs and the K mission problem through the graphical method. What we have to do is you have to consider uh, the processing times uh, and uh, uh, how it is which are which are going to be represented in the uh, two particular uh, perpendicular lines uh, which means uh, you simply as in the graph you can consider x axis and y axis and two particular lines uh, which represents uh, uh, first of all represent the processing time of job one on horizontal line and uh, while job to remain ideal that is in the horizontal line job to processing time is ideal the pro job to is uh, uh, is going to be ideal and represent the processing times of job to on vertical line and then uh, in which uh, when uh, job one remains uh, ideal right uh, like that uh, consider processing times of job one on horizontal line and um, consider uh, processing times of job 2 and on vertical line the two particular lines x axis y axis like that you can consider and so the two particular lines must be perpendicular right obviously <coughs> it is going to be considered in the same fashion and step 2 mark the processing times of job 1 and job 2 on horizontal and vertical lines respectively in the specific uh, given order of missions whichever the order of the mission which was specified for job 1 and job 2 we have already discussed that in the assumption the order of the missions need not be equal need not be same okay we, we can have some particular order in, uh, uh, in order for job 1 uh, that is uh, and uh, on the various missions and similarly uh, order of the mission on job 2 may be completely different and uh, what you all do in the step two is you have to mark the processing times on uh, of job one and job two on two particular lines horizontal and vertical lines respectively and uh, in the whatever the order is specified um, uh, in that particular problem that is in the uh, given problem and step three construct various blocks it's very important <coughs> i'm sorry construct various blocks starting from the origin by pairing the same missions that means uh, after uh, 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 that is marking the after marking the processing times of job one and job two of all missions what we have to do you have to uh, draw the lines uh, that is uh, uh, corresponding to processing times of job one and job two uh, of various uh, missions you have to uh, draw the lines so that blocks will be obtained various blocks will be obtained that is uh, the concept behind this and uh, now we have to um, after that is the con after constructing the um, blocks 
uh, by pairing the same missions, which means uh, you have to obtain the uh, after uh, um, you we have to obtain the certain uh, blocks which are representing both the uh, missions. For example, mission A, mission B, mission C, etc. Mission A, what is the um, rectangle or uh, a block of mission A? Uh, what is the block of mission B? That that is going to be obtained. A rectangle or a block, it is going to be obtained. It may be square or a rectangle or something like which is uh, it is which is known as block. Okay, and the two particular jobs that is which means two uh, processing times of two jobs of same mission in the order. For example, say mission A, uh, horizontally, vertically, you have to see, and uh, one particular block uh, intersection point will be there. That intersection part, which is which is nothing but which gives you the pairing the same mission of same particular mission, it is going to be updated until the end point. Till the end, you have to obtain this, and the blocks are rectangles for each mission are obtained by the intersection parts of both jobs. Okay, uh, whichever rectangles or blocks which are going to be obtained uh, uh, by taking uh, by observing the intersection parts of uh, um, a certain particular. Uh, of a certain uh, job or uh, or a particular uh, on a particular mission which particular mission it is going to be paired that is going to be obtained by blocking or rectangle or ob observing the rectangle or identifying the rectangle right that that is the part of step 3 you have to construct various blocks and we have to identify the respective blocks which are uh, intersection parts of uh, uh, a particular mission of same mission of uh, that pair is going to be obtained that block is going to be obtained right and the step four draw the line starting from the origin to the end by moving horizontally or vertically uh, and diagonally along a line which makes an angle of 45 degrees that is by considering you can draw this one uh, by horizontally vertically or diagonally that is better to consider draw diagonally right uh, basing with the horizontal line so that is uh, by considering uh, by taking the horizontal line as a base and then you have to construct uh, a one particular uh, diagonal line that is making the angle of 45 degrees uh, one particular line is going to be drawn it is very easy that for drawing 45 because we have considered two perpendicular lines remember we have to we have considered two perpendicular lines so therefore uh, um, drawing 45 degrees need not be any uh, kind of instrument just you can draw with the help of the just to taking middle of these two particular lines right because of these in the graph paper you have clearly we have a centimeters etc so therefore we can draw easily a particular line draw the line starting from the um, origin um, based on the based on the horizontal line by taking 45 degrees angle draw uh, the line Whenever uh, it, it uh, intersects, this particular line intersects a particular block, any particular block, remember any particular block, then you stop uh, drawing the line and then you continue to draw, uh, if, you, if the horizontal line is the base, you have to draw the vertical line and then um, you have to, um, if it is, if it's so, you can also draw the um, horizontal, vertical line as well. And then again, uh, if it uh, ends at one particular point uh, at the end of the block and then you have to go and continue this drawing the uh, uh, diagonal line by making by making use of the 45 degrees of angle, right. And so that uh, uh, till the end, that is the last point of that particular all the uh, lines that is uh, a particular region of the block or the block at the end block routing from the origin to end block it is going to be drawn right uh, uh, the horizontal line indicates that job one is under process and while job two is ideal the vertical line indicates job two is under process and uh, job one is ideal from this we can obtain ideal times of mission a and mission b uh, ideal times of uh, job one and job two not mission a and mission b job one and job two the diagonal line indicates both the jobs are under process simultaneously. Diagonal line indicates both the, uh, the jobs are under process through the missions. Right, that is what uh, step 4. And step 5, an optimum, is it clear? All right. 
the step 5 is nothing but an optimum path is one which minimizes the ideal time for both the jobs the choose a path it is called critical path uh, it is called uh, uh, optimum path okay uh, choose a path on which the diagonal moment uh, is uh, as much as possible okay and that is maximum right uh, what you have to consider an optimum path it is going to be considered and uh, which minimizes the ideal time for both the jobs and so that you have to consider this particular the, that uh, um, optimum path and which gives you uh, uh, the total elapsed time right uh, the step six is nothing but the total elapsed time is obtained by adding the ideal time of either of the job to the processing time of the job the processing time of the job and uh, plus ideal time of the respective um, job it is which gives you total elapsed time this is what the procedure of the graphical method for two jobs and any number of missions that k missions right hope you understand thank you thank you very much